Very nice. We keep our posture. We sit in rock pose. Actually, this pose is very good for digestion. And we're going to do next exercise for five minutes. We're going to stretch our arms out in front of our heart center. Okay? A big heart. Christmas season. And I decided that I do not like killing Christmas trees and I always save plants as you can see so I have two Christmas trees and this is a living Christmas tree it's alive and it's gonna live probably here for a long time and uh, I have another Christmas tree which was saved from Florida and shipped here so it's nice to decorate I think some plants at home and do not buy Christmas trees which are killed because it's such a sad thing to see a whole bunch of killed Christmas trees actually. They live by water only and they're not alive anymore. Tiny little Christmas trees, beautiful, so nice, you know, so fresh and they all are killed just for what? For five days, ten days? maybe a month for Christmas season, and then all of them are stuck in the garbage. It's such disrespect to nature. It's such disrespect to Christmas tree even. We decorate, we pamper the tree, and it's not alive. It's killed. And we celebrate like Turkey Day, right? Like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for what? For killing so many birds? For killing so many sentient beings and this is tradition of our century I celebrate Thanksgiving giving thanks for life by killing life taking life of so many birds it doesn't make sense the whole holiday lost its meaning the meaning is beautiful it's just the actions what people do they do not make sense anymore Consciously, you don't do things like this. But some people, and sometimes we all live by old traditions. We do not think. We just follow tradition which doesn't make sense anymore. We have evolved so much. Our consciousness has evolved so much. We're entering the age of Aquarius. My God, the computer technology, everything. And we're still killing so many animals, so many birds and praise God with that by eating somebody's flesh. They didn't ask us to kill them. In fact, they were suffering so much. These things do not make sense to me. Also, Christmas season, we praise the Christmas tree, we decorate Christmas tree, and it's been killed. We decorate the corpse. It doesn't make sense. And then after the days are gone this is it we stick it in the garbage you know with all disrespect or we'll leave it outside of our home just throw it away in the garbage and it was beautifully alive somewhere why are we doing these things does it make sense and we think about resurrection of christ and eternal life why are we doing this if you think about this important high concept that behave accordingly otherwise it doesn't make sense celebrate Christmas and kill so many plants if you want eternal life then let it be eternal or not eternal depends how long the tree lives you know just let it live let it be where it was planted why support killings of turkeys and Thanksgiving, why support killing the trees during the holiday? Why do this? Does it make any sense? It doesn't serve the purpose of the holiday. It's just a tradition, outdated tradition, outdated way of thinking. It's not trendy anymore. It's not up to date anymore, you know? It's outdated. These 
traditions are outdated. Buy a living Christmas tree and decorate it. Decorate your plants with beautiful ornaments of Christmas and celebrate the resurrection of Christ's eternal life. Beautiful. Why do something which consciously doesn't make sense anymore? Why doing it? This kind of thoughts come to me during Christmas season and during the holiday of Thanksgiving, you know? Anyway, let's continue our exercises today. And we are going to do the exercise of such. We're going to place our hands by the heart center, stretch them out. And the head is going to be tilted back. And we are going to be doing this exercise with eyes open. We'll look at the ceiling, at God. God is upstairs right now, okay? So we have a reason to look upstairs. Keep our eyes open. And uh, we do breath of fire for five minutes, okay? So try to tilt your head backwards as far as possible. And we do breath of fire. We can begin. doing it I explain to you something which came to my mind some realization come to my mind occasionally during yoga we throw away a live Christmas tree we throw away this we throw away friendship of people we throw away good relation towards us of somebody we throw away many things we use them and we throw away what kind of consciousness is that that's the way we live life when we use doubt the situation use doubt the person his services we throw him away we throw him in the garbage I don't need to talk to you anymore I don't I don't need to associate with you anymore I don't need you anymore I've used you and now I'm throwing you away the same way we throw away Christmas tree we pamper them we say like blessings and just think of the Christmas tree is like the biggest, the most beautiful event in our household during season. And then we throw it in the garbage. The symbol which we were praising so much. This is the way we operate. That's how we operate. We have to think deep inside ourselves. Is it very conscious? Is it very heart, heart-oriented, altruistic? What kind of behavior is that? What kind of life is that? To use it, praise it, and then put in the garbage with all disrespect. We don't need it anymore, might as well. My God, where is the appreciation for symbol where is the appreciation for life where is the appreciation for God for ourselves where is our respect for all these where is the appreciation where is the respect for all of this nowhere we're cheap cheap stakes and our life is cheap and our consciousness is low and cheap that's what it is that's all I can say you know why behave like this doesn't make sense you gotta upgrade the computer program you know software
slowly we move our head down just like this we are going to be interlacing our fingers in venus lock behind our back and we do the exercise in this fashion we have slight chin lock we have our arms straight and we do breath of fire and eyes and this exercise will be closed if you feel like you've been sitting on your legs in this position for a long time and it feels funny you can always massage your feet a little bit massage your ankles so you feel comfort in next exercise and you know what's interesting with our outdated computer we teach our kids we teach new generation to follow up blindly the outdated traditions of the past to follow up the concepts which do not make sense anymore that's the scariest thing and very sad thing we teach our kids something that they will carry to next generation because they don't know any better and it's our responsibility to perpetually update our software right and pass to next generation some consciousness some conscious thoughts that's our responsibility because when we're gone life in this body is gone soul departs what's left the kids are left the Christmas trees are left, turkeys are left, sentient beings are left. So let them be in peace, respect each other, you know, treat each other consciously. You know, it's important. Yes, plants do not have much consciousness. Birds, turkeys, animals do not have much consciousness. Why are we meat eaters? Why we have so many slaughterhouses? My goodness, it's so outdated. The concept of such is so outdated. We invented so many ways of being healthy. Half of the country is vegetarian. Some percentage is vegan. Some of the people are raw food eaters. My God, the advancement of these technologies is so fast why do we still have slaughterhouses my goodness why are we consumers of dead corpses why are we still consumers of that my goodness why do we still think in these categories why why don't we change our consciousness what does it take does it take a message the new software is ready to be updated. Click. Or not now. Why do we always use the button not now? Why don't we click? Yes, I accept. Update now. We have to do it sooner or later. You know, the technology moves on. Consciousness needs to be upgraded. We can't just, you know, think and behave in outdated, old ways of thinking which are not useful anymore. You know, why are we doing this? Why are we procrastinating? Because we're negligent? I don't know. Gotta think about it. To make New Year's resolutions. <laughs> That's the perfect time. And also, birthdays is a good day to make resolutions and do some changes in our software usage. You know? Okay, so let's continue with our breath of fire. We can begin. Yeah. 
circulating right towards the head and the neck area. So nice. Whew. And also we were stimulating our immune system. We were stimulating our heart center. So I hope one day our quantity of exercise will come into quality of our consciousness. It will develop in quality of heart consciousness, Christ consciousness. Why are we doing yoga if our heart is God knows where? Our consciousness is departed elsewhere. Why are we doing yoga then? Doesn't make sense. It's good to do yoga and adjust your thinking according to current wavelength of the trend of the society, according to our times. You know? That's just normal thing to do, right? Okay, so next exercise we do in this fashion. We are going to be sitting in easy pose and we are going to be turning our head. This exercise also from stress, from headaches. And we're going to inhale left and exhale right for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And then we're going to do breath of fire also for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. We can begin. I surrender with the rising sun. I surrender and just want to serve I surrender and just want to serve the world. I surrender and just want to serve the world. I surrender and just want to serve the world. I surrender and just want to serve the world. I surrender with the rising sun. 
center. Hold the breath, pull the locks, move the energy up the spine. Through Sahasrara Chakra it goes up. And exhale. Very good. 
Very nice. And we have last exercise in today's complex. We are going to be working with 2 minutes and 30 seconds with breath of fire and 2 minutes and 30 seconds with long deep breathing. And this exercise is very powerful. It's going to relax our body, relax our structure. And we're just going to sit in certain posture and look up. Eyes will be open. Very powerful exercise for anti-stress. And we usually get stressed out for the lack of consciousness we possess. That's what's happening. When we have lack of consciousness, the stress is being invited to our home, okay? When we are full in our consciousness, we are aware I don't think stress can be part of our lifestyle, honestly. So let's do the exercise for two minutes and a half with breath of fire. Our angle of the body is 45 degree and our head is tilted back just like this and we look up and we do breath of fire for two minutes and 30 seconds. And afterwards, we're going to do long, deep breathing also through the roll tongue for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And this is our last exercise. seconds left to go and if it's hard for you you can always switch to long deep breathing during this exercise Continue with long deep breathing through the roll tongue. Do not close your eyes. Sounds like a breath of love. Sounds like a breath of love. 
Established in the area of your neck and your brain and it's very relaxing exercise even if we did it with eyes open we were supposed to do the last exercise with eyes open and it's beautiful you can just look up ponder over timeless wisdom and what came to my mind is that we do not get stressed out from doing an activity in consciousness we get tired from lack of consciousness from unconscious thoughts perception of reality from unconscious actions that's where the stress comes to play okay when we're in full consciousness doing something we're just tired but tiredness it doesn't mean stress we can be just tired of conscious activity of conscious perception of reality we see things clear, we perceive things as they are more clear. We do not get tired of this. We do not get stressed out of it. We can get tired of long attention spin, right? But we may not accumulate toxic stress. We may not accumulate stress per se. So these are two different ways of being, of living, of operating. One is in consciousness, then we will just get tired by the end of the day. The other is when we are acting from unconscious perception of reality, we get stressed out. We, because we perceive world upside down. We we'll look at things in a strange way, not the way things are. And that causes us stress. Our misleading perception, our lack of consciousness, 
our lack of adequate perception of the situation, of the world, of understanding. We cannot understand things right when we have lack of consciousness in ourselves. We perceive things not in the right way, and that's where the stress comes in our life, you know, that's it. The more we try to stay conscious, the less stress we have in our daily life. 